Well, welcome everybody to the 2022 World Cup here in Qatar at the McThear Community Arena. We are here with Group E action on the last day of Group E action. In this one we have Australia versus the United States. Australia is sitting on two points currently and they really need a win to have any chance of qualifying. A win for Australia plus a draw in the other game gives Australia a chance to qualify in goal differential depending on how many they I pass the US. The US is already eliminated. They have their wins. They have not scored a goal. They've given up four. They have been one of the most disappointing teams in the entire tournament. Disappointing me greatly. Hopefully we may see something a little bit better in this one. Maybe a goal. That'd be nice. But I don't have to at high of hopes. So Australia is going to come out in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Ryan the captain in goal. Sotar and Sainsbury in the middle of defense. With Gers back on yellow card, the left back and Strain on the right. The deepest midfielders are Beginnick and Mui who is also on a yellow card. Uh, across the attacking midfield, uh, Mabel Rojic and Arzani, who is who has uh, Australia's only goal in the tournament. Up top is Taggart. For the US coming out in a 5-3-2 formation. Center backs Long, Cole, and Galad. A wing back is Helena Costa. And right is on the right is Sergio Dest, as Tyler Adams is out with a pull to groin. The uh, middle central midfielders, Captain Winston McKinney and Lindemann. Uh, brothers forward, uh, Pulisic with Timothy Weah and Sibiachu, the forwards in this one. As we head down with the opening kick. The US are going to start off the ball in their white with blue sleeves. While Australia in the all yellow with green socks. And Australia really needs a win. They have any chance of qualifying. And preferably a big win. As the only way they will qualify is with a win, a draw in the other match, and high goal differential. Here they go on an attack. Arzani with a long crossfield ball down the ball. Got blocked down for a corner. We need to take the corner. Brings it in. And clear. Yannick. Burge. All the way out left again. Let's be blocked over the throw. Really putting on some early pressure. This has the early possession advantage. Just edging it in the first 15 minutes of play here. Oh well forward is intercepted. Yeah, Australia's gonna try and build off of this. Getting up to Rojic. Out left. I was gonna have to run that down, but like maybe the left back was supposed to take it, but Gers back did not. He does swing this in for Taggart. Ooh, saved by Stefan. For 17 minutes, Australia is still on the attack here. Working down the right. We crossing. Headed clear by the lad. I think. He picked this up. Not really yet finding a way through the American defense. The center backs have been strong so far.
My long ball is headed back, but our sign is going to pick up the pass and shoot. And it will be saved down low by Stefan. Had to be sharp there. A mistake on the header. White crosses. Headed out. Well, as far as Rojic. Who boosted the ball to Pulisic, who's going to go on the run now. Going to try and beat her in for pace. Slid in and made the tackle there. Pulisic was off on the races there. Trying to get down. Trying to counter. He earned himself a corner. Australia on the counter. The corner is headed clear. Turned over. Really been kind of an ugly match so far. Americans aren't creating very much, and Australia is trying to press offensively a little bit, but unable to get through the American defense as of yet. Stefan just there's a ball over to Arzani off the goal kick there. But Australia does not make him pay. Americans trying to go on the counter. Pulisic over the top to Timothy Wea. Shot. Ooh. Well saved by Ryan, but he was offside. Americans finally showing some offensive danger there. Serginio Dest, Dest has picked up a yellow card. But that it matters at this point, because Americans are already eliminated. Biachu. It's McKinney. In the area. Oh. All the way back to Heinemann and now. Heinemann. It's not very good. Yannick. Trying to change the, the pace here as Maple Car comes into the middle, but that watch out is wild and over. So at least the Americans are keeping them out of trying to get any good opportunities in the penalty box there. Oh, another red turnover is Maple now gonna go one on one. Stefan. Saved. A powerful shot just straight at the keeper. Could be a corner. We're coming up on half time. We got a couple minutes. Corner headed out. Rojic. Oh, long slides in. Reckon to try and play out of this pressure. Already had some problems. Uh, turned over to Rojic. Ayan Darzani. Right at Stefan again. Really oppressing a little bit here and are forcing some turnovers as the Americans have a free kick. Oh, and Ryan Ako scores out of nothing. And looks like it was going to be headed clear, but Ako rises highest. And the Americans are on the board. It's their first goal of the tournament. And just before halftime, it was goes up one or nothing. You see it again. Yep, just rose highest there. Americans finally getting on the board in the World Cup as Strain picks up a yellow card just before halftime. And Australia is down one nothing, and they desperately need a win at any chance of advancing in the tournament. Look at the halftime stats here. Australia. Nine shots, five on target. And they hold the possession edge 52% to 48%. US, five shots, two on target. As Brian Co is picked out as the star man so far in the first half with the goal. Virginia Dest not playing too well for the Americans. Well for the Australians, Tom Rojic. Uh, been pretty solid in the middle. Uh, Mabel not playing too well, though he did have that opportunity down the left. Got straight at Stefan. But will things change in the second half? 
Let's find out as Asmina Luongo will come on. Australia at the half. Both teams looking pretty composed so far. Then Pulisic picks up yellow card. Fifty fourth minute. Edman. And Nako. Oh. Shots put in by Subiachu. On the far post after. Oh, but it looks like this could be outside. Go we'll take another look at it here. Nako's header. Yep, he's. He was just outside there. Australia escapes. Sainsbury making a bail here. Kind of meet us and McLaren coming on for Australia now. Coming up on the 65th minute. Well, he really needs to start getting some, some pressure again. Vincent McKinney's picked up a yellow card. Yes, he's Zardes is coming on. See about you. See Robinson and Christian Moldan also coming on for the US. Urtic is knocked over there. It's definitely a foul. I'm not sure what they're looking at here. I don't think that's even close to a penalty. But maybe looking at a, at a possible card here. Vision comes in. And looks like it was just a free kick. And then it's going to pick up yellow card now. Giving the Australians an opportunity on the left for free kick. Going in. Like Stefan punches out to Rojic. This shot's blocked. And the Americans could try to counter a co. You're not likely to see him charging down on the counter like this too often. And Rojic makes sure that comes to nothing. We got five minutes to go. Australia is still needing some goals here. Rosani has got a yellow card now. Timothy Weah trying to get clear. His shot. Oof, just wide. Good opportunity. Zardes has picked up yellow card as a substitute. There's stoppage time. Australia is running out of time here. We have about 30 seconds. They really need two goals. One goal is equalized is not enough. Next step, they're definitely going to wait this out. And that's going to do it. Australia, with everything to play for, are unable to get the job done against the Americans. We go to the full-time stats. Australia, 17 shots, 9 on target. Created one clear-cut opportunity and two half chances. Just edged the position. The Americans, 11 shots, 5 on target. Did a single half chance. I'll just say the Americans had looked awful all tournament until this... Basically until the second half of this match. Although they scored right before halftime. As yeah. You can see this is the problem here. Not a good performance for Australia. Right of the match is Brian Co with the goal. Did well. One of his partners in center, uh, center defense. Aaron Long played well. Zach Stephan played well. Made some nine saves. On the disappointing side, Colin Acosta playing the left back role, didn't do much. Let's see. Diabachu, not very good. Virginia Dist, also not good. For Australia, you can see nothing. Performances are not good. Closest to being good, Tom Rojic. But you can see here, ain't very not good. Luongo came out as a substitute, disappointed, kind of meet us well. 
people here, not good. Yannick here, not good. Just, just not good enough. With every opportunity to, to get through. And so that's going to do it here. This one's going to finish 1 0 to the United States. And both teams will be eliminated with this result.